In other news, the Palestinian Authority is finally hoping to hold elections of their own in the next coming months. Real parliamentary and presidential elections, by the way, in the PA have not been held in over a decade. And the Ramallah-based government has now officially requested permission to hold the elections in East Jerusalem. Well, joining us now to discuss is Palestinian affairs expert and former advisor to the head of Kogat, Lieutenant Colonel Alon Eviatel. So, Alon, what is the status of East Jerusalem? Talk to us a little bit about this area. East Jerusalem is a part of uh, Jerusalem uh, city. Uh, a lot of uh, Palestinian people, re uh, residents, live there. We are speaking about 300,000 each wow. which live in Jerusalem. They are under the uh, Israeli regime, not under the PA regime. So the, up to the PA, uh, the Palestinian Authority demand uh, or condition, the Palestinian side want from Israel, ask from Israel, to, particip to uh, participate those residents, Palestinian residents, mm -hmm. to participate in the uh, PA uh, election. So historically, so, these residents living in East Jerusalem vote in Palestinian elections. Yes, of course. And uh, those residents were, were participated mm -hmm. at the election to the PA uh, uh, government and presidency at 2000, 2005 and 2006 already. Sure. Mm -hmm. So this it will be the third time if they will be participate in the uh, so, election, the Palestinian election as well. So what are the chances that we're looking at that a Palestinian election is actually held? And what are the chances that if it is held, Israel will allow it in East Jerusalem? Well, till now, there isn't uh, agreement between the PA and the Hamas side. Mm -hmm. So this is the first obstacle. The second will be, if the Palestinian side will have an agreement, mm -hmm. internal agreement, the second obstacle will be what the uh, Israeli government decision about that. Israel can allow and can prevent it. Because first, we have to remember that the uh, res Palestinian residents at East Jerusalem are not under the Palestinian regime, first, uh, under the Palestinian uh, uh, government. So uh, uh, this is the first question. Second, what will be about Hamas party? Because Hamas want to be part of the elections. So and what title of uh, those uh, 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 parties will, will be? I mean, Hamas, it's... Right. So, so talk to us right now about why elections would be held today. Because like we said, we haven't seen elections in over a decade. In over a decade. So why More now? Than. Right. right. So why now? There are internal pressure about the PA and Hamas as well to do it, to hold elections. First, um, the Palestinian public. Second, mm -hmm. want election. Sure. For more than uh, 14 years already, uh, there isn't election. So, mm -hmm. second, uh, external uh, uh, pressure. Take a look what's going about uh, the uh, Lebanese uh, protest, mm. the Arab Spring, the the the, the, so oh. the Arab society wants election. Mm -hmm. So the Palestinian side afraid from kind of outbreak inside sure. the West Bank. Right. Third. It's kind of um, uh, preventing the uh, optional of the uh, deal of the century of uh, uh, Trump uh, uh, government. So this is the, 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 the meantime current uh, uh, program, the Palestinian program. I, I think that the chance sure. to, do, to hold the election is still low, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, 20, 30 percent normal of that. Oh. Uh, there are a lot of discussions between the two sides yeah, and well, I guess. later... Uh, yeah. I guess we'll see in the, in the coming weeks whether yeah. or not there's an actual well, election. And we'll, it's interesting yeah. to see how the elections here in Israel might influence that. So thank you so course. much thank for you. joining thank us. Thank you for being thank with you. us.